Now we know, we have maps for the land all along the coastline in great detail. We know what's on the land. As soon as we get to the water's edge, we don't have maps. Not in the detail that we do on the land. Now, after a project like this, we do have that kind of information. Victoria's marine environment is, is a significant place. One of the fantastic statistics that I love is that about 85% of the animals and plants and all things that live in the southern waters of Australia are endemic. They live only there. Ten years ago, it wouldn't be possible to do this kind of mapping. The technology just didn't exist. We're now at a stage where the technology is growing, the expertise is growing, and we have the capacity to understand the marine environment in a detail that has never been before possible. We are able to derive products that represent the seafloor topography, but we need some information on the biota, and we do this by towing a video camera over the seafloor. It's quite a complex task. We're in small boats, and we basically lower the camera over the side of the boat using a winch system, and we tow it from depths ranging from about 10 metres to 110 metres, and it's positioned using an acoustic transponder. So we know exactly where this camera is at all times, and we can relate that position and overlay it on the multi-beam imagery. It's going to be able to tell us where places of special interest are for the plant and animal communities. It's going to be important to help identify areas for fisheries, so in terms of critical habitat for fish production. It's also going to give us information about uh, sites of cultural significance, places that, uh, while it's very new to us, of course we have to remember that in uh, times past, Aboriginal people were walking over these areas, they were fishing, they were hunting, and now with sea level rise, these lagoons, these ancient sand dunes, these cliff areas have been covered by the ocean. This project has been seen as important by both the Australian and the state governments because our level of information about the marine environment still needs to be improved. It's recognised across the community that uh, the more we know about environments, the better our capacity to, to manage them for future generations. Without this kind of information, we're almost managing in the, the dull twilight. There's a bit of light because we know roughly in, in broad detail what's out there. It's not quite the dark, but with this information, the lights are on. We can see stuff. We know what's there. We know why it's important once we know what's there. And you can really target management practices.